right, what's going on YouTube? So today's video is a bit interesting. Um, I'm gonna be basically in this same spot for the whole video, which I usually don't like to do, but today is an exception because all that. So long story short, I got a bunch of furniture for the new place that I'm moving to in a few months here. But in the meantime, I just have all these boxes sitting here. So today we're gonna unbox some of the stuff that's for the new apartment and we're gonna use it in this space to kind of make this like a much better work area that has a better like flow to it, you know? Hold on, let me set you up. There you go. Much better. So this should be interesting. I'm honestly not sure what the end goal is here. I'm just gonna use like a lot of the things that I got. I don't even fully know what all I got because I haven't opened any of it yet. Um, so let's just get into it. First, I actually need to go grab a different mic. All right, we're gonna switch out mics here. So I'm just gonna unplug you. And now you should be hearing me from this mic. I think it's a little bit worse quality. I don't remember because I haven't used it in a while, but we need it for this video. I'll just leave you right there. Okay, let's get into these boxes. I'm gonna start with the couch because that's like the biggest thing here. Okay, so to the best of my knowledge, this is a corner piece, maybe? The instructions say like left back, which makes me think this is a corner, but I don't know how to like build this. This goes here, I'm assuming. Wait, no, this goes over here. No, definitely not. It says B, B is the left back, H1 is left seat. Okay, that's gotta be that. A1 left arm. Okay, this is A1. I think this goes there. Uh-huh, and then, okay, I was right the first time. This goes here and we have a completed part. I think there's supposed to be like screws or something. Cause how do you actually hold it together? I think these boxes need to move. Let me move all these boxes and then come back in a second. We can build the couch over there. All right, we're back with a cleared up space and this is in the corner now. Um, on to box number two. I don't know where that is. Here, I'll give you guys some satisfying sounds. Okay, that wasn't as satisfying as I thought. It might be too big. This one is only two pieces. We got the middle back and the middle seat. Um, there are legs for these. I don't know what box those are in. I'm, I guess six. That feels a little bit backwards. They probably should have been in box one, but it's all right. Okay, so this goes here and then I turn it. Yo, this is manual labor. I need installers. There we go. Second piece in. On to the third. I'm completely destroying these boxes and that might be a problem when it comes time to move. Although I'm only moving like 45 minutes away. So I feel like I could just throw the whole couch into a U-Haul. I'm not too worried about it getting damaged. Like it's a couch, how broken can it get? I feel like if I just take the couch apart, stack it up in a U-Haul, I'll be good. I don't even need boxes. Oh, box three down. Huh, it's kind of like slanted. Oh, cause see, I'm figuring it out. I got this geometry down to a T. I took my AP geometry freshman year. Oh, wait, I think this actually goes in the corner and then this has to move over. Ah, uh, okay. Ugh! I think this one goes here and then the other one's just normal. Now I'm stumped because there's supposed to be another right here and then there's supposed to be another cushion over there. This is supposed to be an end. So I think this is gonna end up like right here or like this because then the other cushion's gonna be there. Box four down. Middle back part, middle seat part. So that's another one of these. Okay, so this is the ottoman. It's cool you get an ottoman though. That's really nice. I just don't know where the last, I don't think it would be in one of the other boxes that I got because all of these were labeled, like the ones for the couch were labeled one through six. So I don't think it would just be in one of the other random boxes. It's pretty nice, it's not bad. I can 100% sit here. And then of course I don't have a pillow. You might be wondering like, oh, just go look through the other boxes. This is just part of the other boxes that I got. So I really don't wanna have to go open up every single one of those when a lot of those I wasn't planning on opening until I moved. Like I was just planning on leaving those there and then moving and then opening them in the new place. Cause like this is what I've already done just today. So I'm really not trying to do that because I'm missing a pillow. Recently, this is my newest pickup. So I have a MagSafe case and this is a Anchor wireless charger. So I just like pop it on and then it wirelessly charges my phone. Um, unfortunately, it's dead. So it's been a minute. Here I am looking everywhere. I went through the other boxes in search of this missing part. Um, I went online, looked at the website, looked for like all the information about the parts that come with it, looked back through all of these instruction manuals and I counted 
because there's a picture on each order and it shows you like what comes with that specific box. And I was like, wait, there's six cushions on here, which means supposedly I got six cushions. So after all this work, I come to the conclusion. There it is. It was underneath this piece the whole time. Am I a massive idiot? Yes. Um, this is so sad, guys. Can I get a like and subscribe for this? It is the next day. I have a lot of trash right here and the couch is done. First up, look, we have an ottoman right here. You can open it up. There's my tripod in there, fits pretty perfectly. Then I can just like shut that. Boom, I have like a leg rest right there. Over here is like the L portion of it. Um, those windows are really bright. You can turn that down. There, now we look a little better. I do like the shade that it's in. I think this actually like complements the area really well considering like the wall color and like the natural light there and then kind of the natural look going on the setup. The wallpapers don't really fit that right now. This was temporary, it was for a video I was filming. I will say setting it up was very hard, like actually building everything. It took a while and then even then there's still like some parts of it that aren't, they don't feel very sturdy. For example, I can just kind of like move this whole back part right here. You see how this is like lifting up whenever I move it? Whereas like this one is sturdy, this one just kind of picks up. It's built correctly, it just seems like there's kind of some inconsistencies. It's super comfortable though, it's way more comfortable than I was expecting from like looking at the pictures. I thought it was gonna be one of those like hard, uncomfortable couches that you'd find at like, like a your grandma's house or something. But no, it's actually pretty comfortable. Like I could sleep here pretty easily. The material feels pretty nice. Overall, I'm pretty happy with it. I'll have to see how it functions in like a big living space when I actually move. Um, moving in three months here, so I'll have to see when this is like the main couch in a living room, how it kind of fits in there. But for now, I like it here. We're not done though. I wanted to build like an actual, like I'm saying like a lot, you're gonna have to forgive me here. I wanna build an actual studio space kind of over here and really make it look nice and kind of fit the theme. So I wanna next add like a plant maybe behind the couch, maybe a couple. And to do that, we're gonna cut into those boxes over there. So Cosway actually has sent us a lot more than just the couch. As you can see over there, there's a lot of packages. Now, a lot of these aren't being opened until I move because they're not for a living area, they're for like my actual bedroom in the new place. Um, you guys are gonna have to stay tuned to see all of that. It's gonna be a pretty cool series when I actually do move out and like fully build the new bedroom specifically. So uh, be sure to subscribe for that. I don't know which plant it is because I got like several from Cosway. Okay, there it is. Take this off. This needs some work for sure. It's gotten kind of smushed. There's no good way to actually like ship plants and stuff though. So I wasn't really expecting it to be like full of life straight out of the box. I've actually wondered cause there's companies that ship real plants and I've wondered how they do that without like them delivering and looking really bad. There's like actual dirt here. I feel like that's a big drawing point of having a fake plant is that it doesn't get messy. Maybe I'm wrong though. Okay, we're putting the plant over here. I'm not sure how to really do this yet. I think I want it to be behind the couch, but it's kind of awkward. How's that? Is that awkward? I think it's a little bit weird. Okay, new idea. I think that actually fits better. I think I'm gonna leave it like this for now and then maybe move it later on. I think it looks good here. I just need to get used to it. Next up, I need to add some lighting to this area because although the natural lighting is cool during the nighttime and when I stream, I usually stream at night. So you can't actually see that. So I need something else like in this space. So I'm gonna add an RGB floodlight. I used to have an RGB floodlight back here, like pointed at this wall, but I think I can still pull it off even though I don't have this area anymore. I'm gonna prop it up and point it like straight up and see if I can still put it behind the couch and have it like light up the wall. This is reminding me of the old low quality tech videos I used to make. Cause this is like exactly what I used to do. And they weren't good quality, but. Okay, first I'm gonna turn on these Nano Leafs. That's gonna add some light to the space already. You can't see it too well cause the way that my camera is lit right now, but at nighttime for sure you should be able to see it. Now for the floodlight. That actually looks pretty good. I don't know how much you can see it. Let me close these blinds and you'll be able to see it better. See, now you're kind of getting a feel for it. So that lights up the couch area actually way better than I thought. It definitely kind of gives like this cool depth effect behind it. I like the shadows up along the top. The Nano Leaf mode might have to change. Okay, let me turn on my Nano Leafs on my desk now. This should kind of make the area look a little bit better. And then maybe turn on my desk like face lighting here just to light this up more. I'm trying to think, should I add another plant? Cause I have a lot more plants that I could add. I'm just thinking, 
Would it be too much? I feel like I've already got a lot in this space. I, I'm so torn on whether to add another plant. I don't know how much I want to do here because this still isn't really even technically my space. Like all of this is my parents. So I don't want to go overboard and like deck this area out when I'm moving in three months. See how this couch cushion is like lifting up when I lean back? That's a problem. Part of me thinks it was put on wrong, but then I know that like I spent so much time doing this last night, trying to fix like everything. I'm just gonna leave it. It's not worth it. I'll fix it when I move. I don't know, I kind of think this is a good stopping point for now. Let me know if you guys have any additions that you would add personally. Um, I don't think I'll change too much about this space, at least until I move. When I move, this is gonna be in the living room, like I said, so it won't really be my space, but I'll be able to do a lot more with the space, especially once like me and my roommate are both there. We have like both of our resources. I know he's got a lot of cool stuff that he's bringing to the place too. And of course, we're gonna like buy a bunch of new stuff to decorate it. But for now, I actually really like what I've done to this space. I think it's gonna be really cool for a stream angle when I do go live. I'll be sure to throw up a clip at the end of this video so you guys can see like kind of the stream's perspective. And of course, if you guys do wanna drop by the Twitch streams, the link will be in the description. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with this space that I've built here. There will be a lot more content kind of like this coming soon because like I said, I'm moving. So I'm gonna be documenting the whole moving process, like vlogging a lot of it. Let me know what you guys wanna see in the moving process, any specific things you guys have questions about. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out. New drip, guys. The couch. All set up and ready. Bro, guys, take the box and said, I'm gonna just put it together. I did. That's exactly what happened, funnily enough. Here, 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 hold on. Let me make a sign. I don't think it's on sign. Hey. That's better. That's better. What brand of couch? It's from Costway.